How's it going guys? In today's video, we're going to talk about how you can film your YouTube videos faster, much more efficiently, and the best ways that you can do that. So if you want to learn how to make YouTube faster and better, then keep on watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to Simplicity. I'm Simplicity. Welcome to the channel. And if you haven't already, make sure that you do subscribe because this channel is all about how to build your brand image and social media online. So if you want to build your brand, business, and image through social media, make sure you do subscribe and you ring that bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And of course, if you do enjoy this kind of content and you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help get the video out there and it helps me to keep making videos. So please do that. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to check all the links in the description. To make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Links will be in the description and they'll be on my homepage. Definitely go check those out. And I do have merch that you can go ahead and view as well. And then like I said, make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and share it if you do like it to all your friends and family. So today we're going to run through how you can increase your productivity of how you film your videos and actually film them faster and more efficiently. In today's video, we're going to run through some very simple uh, bullet points and ways of how you can do this and hopefully help you to start making YouTube videos. If you're a little bit too scared or you don't know how about going to do that, this video is for you. So make sure you do watch the whole video because there definitely are some good pointers. So keep on watching. So the first, uh, so for the first sneaky, no. So for the first tip we're going to run through is when you are scripting your videos, make sure that you do actually use bullet points. Now the reason why this is so important is because if you write down a whole speech, like if you're doing a speech at school and you write down a huge essay of what you're planning on discussing in that video, you're actually making it 10 times harder for yourself to not only one, have to remember everything that you've written down, but two, that is not actually how you're ever going to actually talk to someone, whether it's in an interview, or whether you talk to your friends, you don't actually have in as in-depth information as that. You basically, you go off bullet points that we're going to discuss shortly, bullet points of what you're going to discuss in that video that's going to help you remind yourself exactly what you wanted to talk about and then you can go in depth of that information that you've already prepared. If you actually plan a speech that you're going to try and actually talk about, it's not only going to be super hard to actually remember exactly what you're talking about, but more than likely it's going to come across as really ungenuine and also very robotic. The reason for this is you're trying to remember so much information, trying to process, process all of that information and then still talk to a camera and actually speak to your audience and sound interesting. Now, you can honestly say that if it's something that you've prepared and you're trying to remember the exact words, like you don't even want to say one word wrong, you want it to make it exactly correct and it just makes it super challenging and way harder than it needs to be when creating content. So that's why it's hugely important that you actually use bullet points to help remind you of what exactly you're going to talk about whether it's five, four, three bullet points that you're going to talk about, those are the crucial things that you know that you want to talk about and to relate to your audience. And as long as you talk about those five bullet points, then you know you've covered that in that video and that your video has actually answered their questions. If you try to remember a whole speech, you're probably more than likely going to miss things. And like I said, you're going to come, you're going to come across as very ungenuine and the video is never going to be quite like you'd hoped. I have myself have tried to do this many times and you're watching the video and you're just thinking, who is that guy? That, that's not me, that's not how I sound. But because you're like a robot trying to repeat information that you've written down, whether it may be a paragraph or 10 pages long, you're not going to come across how you want to come across and how you're going to actually entice the audience to keep on watching. That's why it's hugely important, once again, make sure that you're using bullet points and that's really going to help you increase your productivity of creating a YouTube video. Now, the second pro tip that I have for you guys is you may be familiar and I definitely can do a in-depth video of this mobile app, but if you haven't heard of it before, it's called ASAN Mobile. Definitely go ahead and check it out. I'll have the link in the description. And what it is, is it helps you script your videos. So kind of going on past of the bullet points that we talked about in tip number one, is going to, you can use this app that you can actually have it on your phone in front of you to help remind yourself 
as you are relaying your video back to your audience. So this is a great way to script it and just a nice tidy way of doing that. It is definitely a great app. If you do want to see more in depth of this app, I can definitely go through that with you guys. So comment down below if that is something you want me to show you an in depth video on that. If not, there definitely are other videos that you can definitely go ahead and check out on that app. But it is super great, exactly what you can do. It's great for scripting, and it's just a really awesome app that I would definitely recommend. So definitely go ahead and check that out. Link is in the description, and it's truly gonna help you script your videos, plan your videos better, and make your videos way more professional, and just the overall look of that video is going to be 10 times better if you actually have a script and bullet points in place to make sure that you not only actually make a video that's worthwhile and adding value to the person watching but it's actually done in a professional way that makes people want to subscribe to your content and come back from tip number three is actually making sure that you film your videos in chunks or in parts why i say this is because not only is it going to make it more easier for you to actually film because there's only so much that you can actually remember in a set scene that's why movies and tv shows they film episodes in scenes or they film movies in scenes to one make sure that you can actually film it to the best of your ability and allows you to only for only have to remember a few sentences or lines and you can actually do the best possible outcome of that audition or scene so that's why making sure that you actually film your youtube videos the same way filming it in chunks not only makes sure that you answer them correctly but it actually makes it 10 times easier for you filming the video because you're able to do it in chunks it just allows you to know exactly what you're going to talk about and you don't have to try and think of what you're going to talk about next it allows you to have set scenes in place knowing exactly what that is so for example we go back to tip number one, you may have your four bullet points that you want to talk about, split that into four scenes so you know exactly what it is you're wanting to talk about and you can actually go in depth of exactly what it was you were planning on talking about and you actually add value to that video because you're not only helping your audience but you're making quality content. That is one of the crucial and most important things that I can possibly say about creating a YouTube video is making sure you're adding value, you're being different and you actually are relaying information and helping people, whatever it may be, you're actually helping and adding value to your audience. So that's why these tips of how you can make your videos faster and easier and more productive about making videos, but making quality videos. This isn't about how you can just batch your videos, knock out 10 videos in a day and be done with it. No, we're talking about how you can make quality videos in the fastest way possible but still making high quality videos that your audience is going to love and if they enjoy it that much, they're going to want more videos just like this one. So that's why you want to have a solid base, a solid plan in place of how you create your videos so that you can do it every time, give it 110% and make the best video possible. And lastly, I wanted to talk about an awesome little nifty remote that I would definitely recommend using. Link will be in the description, definitely go ahead and check that little guy out. It's awesome, it basically allows you to be able to stop, start and stop your recordings for those split scenes that we were talking about, and you don't have to keep getting up and getting out, and getting up and getting out to stop and start your video. It's super handy, definitely go ahead, link is in the description, go have a look. If you are wanting to create videos, it is something that I would recommend, it is a must have, and it just makes filming videos that much easier, because you're able to stop and start your recording. It also allows you to take photos, two second photos and just snapshot photos for your thumbnails or for whatever it may be. I definitely highly recommend it. It makes this process so much easier and it's just a nifty little remote that I recommend everybody having. The only thing is make sure that you do choose the correct remote for the camera that you have and most importantly make sure it is really cheap. It's under $20 and it's just a handy little remote to have. Definitely recommend that. If you're not wanting to spend money on a remote and depending on the device that you have, most of them have built-in Wi-Fi and you can actually do the same thing with an app on your smartphone device. But of course, if you don't have a smartphone, then maybe buying this cheap, inexpensive remote for under $20 is probably the way to go. Link is in the description. Definitely at least go ahead and have a look. And it's truly going to increase your productivity and help you to create high quality content. So I hope you guys did find this video helpful and I hope these tips were super uh, relative to your uh, 
endeavors and I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, why haven't you, I do not know, but make sure that you do subscribe, click that big red button down below so you're signed up for more videos just like this one. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.